It's time to tune right in and fill yourself with glee as the guild presents Moe's Island Jamboree. Moe's Island Jam, Moe's Island Jam, Moe's Island Jamboree. Hey, how's she hanging? Mo Gorman here with another epidet of Moe's Island Jamboree, presented by the guild. Well, this is it, folks, the last episode of Moe's Island Jamboree presented by the Guild, at least for a little while. I'm going to hang up the hat for a little bit and uh, move on to other things. And for this last episode, I'm not even going to sing a song or write a poem or even, well, I'll do a little bit of a dance. But I'm not going to do anything else because we have a special guest on here today. Darlene Lund is coming up. And she's got some uh, tips on uh, how to do grocery shopping in this uh, weird time that we're living in. So, that's it. Take it away, Darlene. Oh, 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 oh. Hi there. Hi, I'm Darlene. I made it home from grocery stopping. Yes, I call it grocery stopping because I did a lot of stopping old behaviors and starting new behaviors. And I wanted to you know, submit a video to help perhaps some people understand what it can be like to go grocery stopping nowadays. It feels like I'm going to the dentist, actually. I have that same feeling in the pit of my stomach. Now when I go, it's still cheaper than the dentist to go for the most part. But yeah, and there's some similarities though. There's, I don't know, I'm gonna put on new gloves here. I'll put these on, I'll take this off first. There's uh, similarities, there's drills. So I knew about some of the drills like to take some wipes. So I took all my wipes, I took my containers, and I had my gloves, wiped down the cart, don't talk to anyone, six feet apart, follow the rules with the arrows and such. And I was doing really well, like I was impressed. Like I say, I am only 55, but I went early because I live with anxiety and a lot of different issues. And so like no one asked me my age, but even that was like, what if I'm not, I don't belong here. I wasn't sure if I belonged there. So anyhow, I did get home, but it was quite an adventure. It was uh, mostly, mostly entertaining actually with the older people there. You know, this one little sweet little lady, she was coming up the aisle, like and I was going down appropriately. And it was the chip aisle, and she was looking at all the chips, and I waited patiently. Like, what am I going to say, really? All I wanted to do was get in, get out, get my groceries. And so she went through. She passed me. I went and turned my back and did all the appropriate things. And I went to go down through the chip aisle. And just as I had my turn, I heard this <coughs> cough. I looked. It was an appropriate cough, like into their elbow. Yet I felt the pressure, and so I just had no, I had no chips. And so though I did get some things, I plan to make spaghetti. So I have spaghetti, I will wipe that down. I will clean, put that on my clean side. And what else do I have? I have bananas. I just started to fill up the sink with some water. I don't know, do I put these bananas in this soapy water? I'm not sure. I don't know how beneficial this video is gonna be for you, but I wanted to demonstrate what it's like for me to go. So then with that, I have an avocado. So that's where the confusion sets in. Do I put the avocado in the same water that I put the banana in? I'm not certain. Oh, the almond milk. Now I know I can wipe that down and put that all into the clean side, into the fridge that's wiped down. I'm looking in my breads all squished. I have canned goods that are just thrown on top of that because there was no demonstration of how to pack your groceries. So I definitely understand the essentialness of the workers. I do appreciate it because it can be, it's a strategy. So I'm coming home. Well, I look, I have eggs, eggs at the bottom of my bag. Like I have absolutely no idea what these, what shape these eggs are going to be in. I don't know. Do I put them in the water? I know, of, of course, if I'm going to boil an egg, I put it in the water or poach it. But I mean, now I am confused. I have strawberries, do I put it in the same? I don't know, do I put fruit separate? Vegetables, different water, I only have one sink. It's quite time consuming. I have some vitamin C, that's apparently helpful for the, 
for the coronavirus. Now I look into my bag and I see the garlic powder. Again, I was going down the spice aisle and the couple was coming up. You know, they were probably eight. I don't know. They were cute. You know, they were coming up the wrong way. They were together and I knew the rules. But I, I mean, what am I going to say? But they were looking at the spices, the all spices, cinnamon and garlic powder. And I got the garlic powder. So they went by me. I didn't say anything, you know. It was quite an adventure, really, going to grocery shopping. And oh, and I look in, like I have tofu. What do I do with tofu? I felt the pressure. I kept thinking, buy this. People are buying this. Get healthy. It's a time to get healthy. Well, I think it's a time that this grocery stop, this has to stop. This COVID has to stop my whole day. Like, someone's going to ask me, like, what did you do today? And it's going to be like, I made spaghetti. So I'm sorry if this hasn't been informative, and I hope this mo most moist, mostly moist, mostly entertaining for you. And I'll get back to you with another more informative one. And I appreciate you listening. Bye. All right. Thanks so much, Darlene. That was great stuff there. Thanks a lot for submitting your video, and thanks to everybody else who submitted videos as well. I really enjoyed putting them up on the internet for everybody to take a look at. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of the road. Thanks so much for tuning in to all these shows. One last time, I'm Mo Gorman, the Mose Island Jamboree, presented by the Guild. Until next time!